Call to adventure. Initiate your full. What do you want to bring into fruition or deliver into this world? Using the major arcana tarot cards, which contain archetypal energies, shuffle the cards and ask the question or your version of it. You will be pulling this major arcana card to embody an archetype for your avatar or fool. This card will be the initiation to your power and vitality at this time. What card did you pull? If the card is in an upright position, your avatar is on an advanced mission. Your hero is a wise soul and has taken these journeys before. If your card is in a reversed position, you're likely the fool, full of inspiration and hope to go find your treasure. And this will be the advice, this card, to get you started. So keeping your water element in mind, Use this archetypal card to create a character or charisma for your fool. Intuit a message and write it down now in this initiate sphere before taking the next step on your journey. All right, so now let's go ahead and ask the question. Uh, what I want to deliver into this, wor this world, this purpose, is I want to tell the truth. So I'm asking, how can I bring this into this world? How can I tell the truth? I need to initiate my fool with this archetype to help me fulfill this purpose of being able to be liberated and telling the truth and not feel like I'm holding back in any way. So this card is going to help give me that initiation, my power and vitality at this time in this play that we're playing. So the message that I'm getting is the world card the world at last everything is coming together and fulfillment is yours so it almost sounds like what i'm feeling is impatience like maybe i'm not doing this and i need to do it but what the card sounds like it's telling me is that i'm just being impatient if i would just slow down and realize that I am telling the truth and it is making a difference. People are moving around. People are, you know, hearing the message and having their own thoughts and epiphanies. So perhaps part of me thinks I'm failing at this, but this card is telling me that I'm actually doing just fine. Like I am on the right track. This is the world card. It's kind of like the conclusion. So I really am feeling good about the fact that I am starting my journey with this card. And I'll share why. In this play that I've come up with of the fool's journey, I'm suggesting that if the card is in an upright position, as this card is, then I'm on an advanced mission. And my avatar is a wise soul that has taken these journeys before. Had I got the card in the reversed position, then I would have suggested that I am the fool and that I'm full of hope and inspiration and that my hero is going out to find the treasure, but he needs some advice to start. Keeping this element in mind that if the card is reversed or upright and the message that you get from the card, what is the initiate message? You're going to take this, you're going to integrate it, if you have any kind of personal thoughts, you'll put them on your notes page and then put the most potent feeling or message in your initiate sphere. And then we'll move on. You can write anywhere within this template that you want. And so what I'm going to do, because I want to remember that I got the world card for this. I'm just going to kind of note that here. Um, you can use this space for whatever you want, but I'm feeling like this card is really powerful to the overall message of telling the truth. It's something that um, I would like the world to do is to tell the truth. When I meet with people and talk to people, I can see when they're not telling me the truth of what they think about me or my lifestyle choices. Like I can feel their opinions and preferences. It would be better for me if we could just talk about those out loud and have, you know, an intellectual conversation and inspire one another because we would probably learn something if we weren't protecting each other's ego so much. So to me, okay, so that's kind of what the message is, is that um, 
to stop protecting the ego. This is what my call to adventure is, is I really, this is what I want to do. I want to stop protecting people's egos, but I want to learn to do it in a soft, kind way. I have a tendency to be very serious, so it comes off very sharp. I'm very Scorpio-like. I have a Scorpio sun and moon, like, so I can have a stinger. So, when I hear something that isn't true, I, I like kind of can lash out. So I would like to do this in a kinder way. Stop protecting the ego. Okay, so let's take that idea because that seems sort of negative and it's also not exactly present tense. So I'm going to write over here, stop Okay, so here's how we do this. We take this sort of negative, not present tense idea of the initiation that I'm getting from this card, the world, and I'm saying what I want to do is I want to stop protecting the ego, both mine and other people's egos. And in a way, that's only relative because the veil or shadow of my own life experiences are going to tell me what is someone's shadow or what my shadow is. And that might not be 100% truth, even though I want to tell the truth. It would be the truth of my personal perception at that time, and that might change later on. But the point is, is that in that practice of going ahead and practicing a truth that might be a temporary truth, I get to find the truer truth. I get to uncover, you know, take away part of the persona or identity and see what's underneath that. And the only way I can do that is if I stop protecting what I perceive as um, not wellness, you know, what I perceive as a programmed human behavior that is not necessarily natural or innate. When I feel, when my intuition tells me something is off, I would like to go with that instead of feeling like I have to protect the other person from what my intuition is suggesting. And it could be incorrect, but it's still something that needs to be played out to find the lesson. So what would be the polarity to this idea of stop protecting the ego? This would be telling the truth, right? But how are we doing, how can I do that? in a soft, kind way. Um, so this would be ask for permission. I didn't spell that right, whatever. What I see here is the word mission. So what I am seeing in my mind, what I'm getting a sense of is this. Let me break this down. I can't just um, let's try to think if I think of an example. I can't just tell somebody the truth. It might be very jarring. They might not be expecting it. Nobody's done that before. Um, they want to protect what I'm trying to get at, like what I'm digging at. So really what would probably be in this idea that just popped up for me is to ask for permission. Like, would you like to hold to that opinion or do you want to talk about it? you know, ask for permission if they would like to proceed to go further into um, what I often consider as shadow work. You know, it's not my term, but I do like the reference of this idea that we're working within the subconscious, unconscious, you know, identity realm of the human psyche. So not everybody wants to do that. <laughs> so somehow I think I need to ask for permission if they would like to have that conversation with me, if they would like to further investigate whatever it was that I felt like I'm having to protect in that moment. So for example, a situation comes up, I recognize that I'm not able to tell the truth because I'm going to hurt this person's feelings. And in that moment, I could either keep quiet and pretend and just let it go away. Or I could say, I'm feeling something and I would like to have a deeper conversation with you about this. Is that something you would be interested in? <laughs> and I could hear it right now. That would be like psychoanalyzing. And 
I don't get the sense that everybody wants to do that. So I'm still, I'm still the fool in this aspect of what we're doing, but I know that my initiation is somehow asking for permission or hearing, um, what is it? In one of the human designs or one of those systems, they say the invite, waiting for the invite. So this waiting for the invite is kind of the idea of asking for permission. Okay, so I know that one of these other design systems, these self-development systems, they ask you to wait for the invite. And that's something that I know is personally what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to wait for the invite. So that might be in conflict with asking for permission. I'm not sure. In that system, it might be in conflict. But I'm getting the sense that I need to do one of these two things. I either need to ask for permission or wait for the invite. And this is like my initiate sphere. So what would be, so I have these concepts here. I'm breaking down this stop protecting the ego and I'm flipping the script and I'm making it present tense that in the moment I'm gonna ask for permission or I'm gonna recognize that I'm waiting for the invite to ask for permission to proceed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that message here to my fool that wants to tell the truth. I'm gonna tell my fool that he needs to ask for permission, um, ask. And really the ask is the most important part of this, I think. Okay, so now my hero has been initiated. He has this feeling from the world card that he needs to ask for permission to tell the truth. It's not something that everybody wants to hear because it might not be their truth or it might be shattering to their truth. And it might not be your truth in the long run. So you're really asking for permission to have this conversation to get to the bottom of the truth, like to really to like uncover the truth. So I'm going to write that here is uncover. So really what the, the fool wants to do is uncover the truth with others not to tell the truth, but to uncover it with others by discussing it. So I'm going to add that in here. So because I want to remember this message, but I want to keep things clear over here, I went ahead and wrote that out very clearly to myself so I can recall it. That what I'm looking to do is I'm asking people for permission if we could actually tell the truth to one another and uncovering and revealing what the truth or an a truth or our truths might be. And so I'm really looking to have intimate conversations with people in these moments. And maybe that's not something that I would do with everybody. I would have to identify or evaluate whether this is the right person or this is the right time to actually have one of these conversations where you're not protecting the ego and you're asking for permission to really uncover the truths, you know, that there would be multiple mine and theirs and ours. And maybe the actual truth would be something entirely discovered, you know, not known by either of us. So that's what I'm, that's where I'm going with this fool's journey so far.